So, hello. I'm here today with Clement Yanev. I'm sure you know him, but let's tell us where we are. We're in Cologne. It is freezing. It, it is. is almost November. Yes. So, what is the occasion why we are in Cologne? Uh, well, we've just run away from Düsseldorf. <laughs> uh, we did a weekend long rap rap building workshop. It was awesome. It was really awesome. Uh, and we didn't have a single participant from Dusseldorf. They came in from all over the country and we had a really great time. We built seven machines. They all printed perfectly on pretty much the first try and we did great. Okay, awesome. I'm not sure if we are recording. Do you see any red light? I don't know, are we recording? I'm going to check that. <laughs> Yes, we are. Excellent. <laughs> that will be really funny. You will. Go on. And okay, so Clement, how did you get into rap rap, and how long are you working on rap rap? Uh, I've been doing this for a couple of years now. I started with a maker bot cupcake, oh my God. which really sucked. But uh, with a few hour, a uh, few months of diligent work, I managed to get it to the point where, with careful observation. It uh, could print me the parts for a Cells Mendo and then I built one. Splendid. Did it print? It printed. Okay. Oh yes, it printed. It was a pain, but it printed. And um, eventually that one printed me a Prusa and that Prusa printed me another Prusa and uh, so the story goes. Awesome. So, what is your main contribution to the wrapper project? Uh, I guess by my number of users, it's probably a tie between uh, Sprinter firmware and uh, Print Run or Fronterface. Um, I can't take credit for either of those fully myself. Um, particularly for, for Sprinter, since it was based on Tonakip's work. Yeah, we interviewed him a few weeks ago. Yes, um, Pronterface, I can proudly say I'm the father of it, uh, but I am no longer the only father. Yes, how many pull requests do you have? I have, I, I, I'm not sure how many pull requests, definitely over 100. Wow. Um, I believe there's 37 names on the contributor list so far. And um, Come on, be a proud father. Yeah, it's, yours. it's cool stuff, yes. Okay, and you have some new cool stuff here with you. As Can you tell us what is it? Uh, it's a RepRap electronics board that I designed and it's dedicated to the RepRap IRC channel. Yes. Yes, these Lots are for sale that. now so if you want to give me money uh, I'm sure Joe will post the link. Yes, and you should give him money. Tell us something about this board. What does it feature? I don't like features. I like properties. Okay, so what properties yes. does it have? Okay, so I, I focused a lot on thermal design, so it runs cool. Uh, right now I'm not really feeling the need for that, but uh, in the summer it was quite quite nice. I tested this in over 30 degree temperatures, so it, there is a possibility it will even work in Australia. Yes, um, yeah, so it's based on the sam u processor. Uh, this was supposed to be the one on the Arduino Due. They announced this in September 2011. Yeah. I started to work on this in October 2011. And um, I released before them. <laughs> which is sort of disappointing for me because, you know, it's, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, I know. I follow your work for a long time. And it took you like nine months to get it done, including the manufacturing. Yeah. It's a lot of work. but. Here's one cool thing. It's all SMD and everything is only one side, only on one side and the other side is clear. So you can stick it to the giant piece of aluminium and let it cool. It doesn't need it though. Yeah, but you can do it. And why is it called 4 pi? Because of the dimensions in inches, it's 4 by pi inches <laughs> in size. How cool is that? Not particularly. I do think it's pretty cool. Okay, enough advertising. <laughs> oh, okay, enough advertising. So, what do you want to talk about? We have loads and loads and loads of topics and we don't know which one to pick. So, what is your favorite thing to talk about? 
I, I think right now I'm really excited because of last weekend because this was just so much fun and everybody should do rep rep workshops yes and uh, I can't go around doing all of them so all of you guys should go and do rep rep workshops wherever you are and invite me over and me too <laughs> yeah so basically how long did it took to uh, to finish the printer well we we did a two-day workshop so we pretty much had everything running other than unstop wiring on the first day um, and so uh, we started late and we took breaks for lunch and yeah it wasn't particularly efficient so I, I guess it, it would be doable in a day we have done it in a day before but uh, it was so much nicer to have the second day to just uh, be able to actually do something with the machines and so uh, we got everyone printing we got some really nice print quality it was great fun yes i guess we should tell people something about the i3s because unfortunately or fortunately yeah more likely fortunately we have two versions of i3 printer the one i design and the other uh wooden frame one who basically was designed by you and uh, Joachim Glauke and Nathan and other contributors in my GitHub repository. And yeah. Yeah, so um, I don't have a water jet cutter and I don't really Me want neither. to have one because uh, I live in an apartment and a water jet cutter requires a fairly solid floor. So if I were to put <laughs> one in my apartment, cool. it would just go through the floor. So I, I don't have it either. Obviously. Yeah. Um, so I thought, okay, I want to prototype this stuff. There is no way I can get the frame in any reasonable amount of time. So I'm just going to see whether I can get some sort of um, hardware store version going. So I went to the hardware store, I had them cut some pieces of wood for me and uh, it was absolutely horrible. Uh, so then I did another iteration where I fixed all the bits that wouldn't fit went to the hardware store again, got them to cut me another set of wood and screwed it together and it was much better and uh, now I believe it's pretty much perfect. Okay, so there are two versions. One version is one plate. It doesn't have to be from aluminium, but you can see the aluminium version picture right now. Okay, and the other version, which is more DIY friendly, you can see right now. Okay, and yeah, just don't get confused and we will work on that most of the parts are compatible and i3 is going to be released soon uh, the uh, the reason why i didn't want to release it yet was that we didn't have suitable extruder for making it uh, dual extrusion uh, we used all those uh, plastic gearbox stepper motors and, and they all melted and they kind of melted and it wasn't optimal, but now we managed to source some nice motors, which are available in quantities and don't cost much more than a regular NEMA 17. So that is really good and it's approaching the release date. So that's about i3. Uh, what else? Um, my employment situation. Okay. Yeah, uh, I quit my job recently. Uh, so I could work on open source hardware full time. Um, I haven't quite gotten there yet. So I, st I still have a couple of closed projects, but once they are done, that's it. And um, all my work is going to be entirely open source hardware and open source software. And I think that's really cool. And um, I'm hoping that I can afford it financially. Uh, but so far it's looking good. And uh, yeah, a I hope this will be an inspiration for people to start working on things they love. Yes. I'm really happy to hear that because I started to work full time on Rap Rap. Actually, it's my first job. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you were a DJ before, you got gigs. No, it was just like fun. But I started in February and I'm doing well. And it's awesome to see someone else to do that. And we've seen Junior did that. Many, many people did that. So we encourage you to do the same, uh, but please don't well keep it open because we have so many companies who take the stuff and call it proprietary, do some small improvements, and yeah, somehow distantiate from us, and that's sad, and we don't want to do that. So please keep it open, but yeah.
feel free to start business. Absolutely. Anyway, I think that was a nice interview. Do you have something like last sentence for all the rap rappers out there? Uh, get on the IRC channel. If you're not on the IRC channel, get on the IRC channel. Try it at least once. Yeah. I know it's addictive, I know it's dangerous, but that's where we all are. That's where all the fun is, that's where all the development happens. So, yes. go, get there. I want to see you there. Okay, thank you Clement. It was thank you Joe. Huge success. And thanks for having, coming here, thanks for being here. Okay, I thank you for your invite. Always fun to have you Take care guys. Bye. So let's start. Pigeon time. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> You're recording this. Yes. Of course you are. Ah. All right.